Hi everyone, welcome you all. In the today's video, I am going to show you how we can read the data from Excel and we will write the same data into the database table. So in our previous video, we already seen how we can read the data from database and uh, same data we have written in the Excel. Now we will see in the reverse way, like we have to read the data from the Excel file and we will write the same data into the database. So to do this, we need to have a basic uh, understanding of JDBC, uh, Java Database Connectivity from Java, and then we can do that. So let me show you how we can do this. So first of all, uh, we need to set up our project. So we need a driver which will connect to the database. So in our previous video, I have shown you how we can download and set up the driver for your project. So once you have a driver, database driver, so we need to add the driver to the project, go to the properties, and Java build path under libraries. So I think I already added that library. So MySQL. So this is a MySQL connector jar file, which we have added. So which will give us uh, some of the classes and methods and by which we can connect to the database and uh, we can do database operations. So that's the only prerequisite we need to have. And once you added the driver. So the second thing is uh, in my database, if I just see here, I have connected to my database uh, from my local database and I have a uh, one database called world and inside this there are multiple tables are there but whatever data i'm going to read from excel uh, i'll store the data in some new table so i'm going to create a new table in this database even that table also will create through my java code okay so first we need to create this table uh, in this uh, database and through my java code and after that we have to read the data from excel so we already have one excel called locations.xls let me open the file. So this particular XLS file contains some data. Let's say I have location ID, street address, postal code, city, state provisions, and country IDs. So I want to write this particular data into database table. So even that table I will create newly. So let's say I'll create a new table called places. Now in that particular table, I'll insert this data. So whatever data I've shown you in the Excel, I'll read the data from Excel and I insert the same data in the places table. So that I'm going to create as a new table. Okay, so that is the whole concept. Now let's see how we can do step by step. So let's go to Eclipse and we already have Excel file. So, and also we have, I have connected to the database. Currently, I don't have a places table in my database. I want to create it through Java code. All right, so let's go to our Java project, Apache Poi. This is my project, which is created already and Excel operations is my package. So inside this, I'm going to create new class. Uh, I'll name it as Excel to database. Let's take a main method and say finish. Okay. So as a first step, so what we need to do is we have to connect to the database. Then we have to create a new table. Okay. We have to create a new table called places. Currently, I don't have the table. So I want to create a new table. Later, I'll insert the data into the table. So let us see how we can do that. First, we need to establish a connection to the database. So database connection. So how to establish connection to the database? So earlier we have discussed about, we have a method class called driver manager. And inside this, we have a method called get connection. So the driver manager will be imported from java.sql package, which will come along with the driver jar file. So here we have to pass the connection string along with the connection URL. So I'm working with a MySQL database. So the connection string of the MySQL database will be like this. So JDBC colon, MySQL colon, localhost and the localhost means my database is installed or located in my local machine or you can pass the name of the machine or you can pass IP address of the machine. So 3306 is a port number on which my database is running and world is a database on which I am working on a root and root. So this is a username and password. So this particular statement will establish a connection to the database and return the connection object. So this will throw some exception, just add this. So this particular statement will return the connection object. So we need to use that connection object to perform further operations. So to store this connection object, we use a special class called connection and store in con. So con is a connection class object. Now import this connection from java.sql package. Okay, now we establish a connection to the database. Now, once we establish a connection to the database, we need to create a new table. So first of all, to create a new table, we have to write a SQL statement. 
So for that, we have to create one more thing called by using this connection, we have to create a new statement. So we have a method called create statement. So this will create a new statement and a statement object will be written. So the statement object we have to store in one more variable called statement. I say STMT. Now import this statement from java.sql. Okay. So now I establish the connection and then I created the statement object. And through the statement object, we can execute our SQL statements. Okay. So which statement I want to execute first. So I want to first create a new table in the database. So let us do that first. So create a new table, create a new table in the database. So I'll name it as places. My table name is places. Okay, so let's see how we can do that. So first of all, let us frame the query. Okay, how to create a new table in the SQL. So I will store the entire query in the variable. So I'll take one string variable string SQL equal to and inside the double quotation, I can write the query. So normally to write uh, or to create a new table, uh, let me just write the query here first and then I'll copy the same thing in the Java code. So if you want to create a new table, so normally we have to create a query like this. If I just look at this, uh, this is a create statement I have to use. So create table and here I give some places and uh, in this location ID is a column data type. Again, street address is another column, data type. Postal address, city, state, provenance, country. So I have added all the columns along with the data. Type. So when I execute this statement, which will create a new table with these columns. Okay. So this, this particular statement, I'm going to execute through Java program. So here, I'll keep the statement. Okay. So this is a whole statement. So this statement will create a new table called places. Let me just give some name to places. This is my table. So this particular query, I want to execute. I just stored this query in a variable. Now I want to execute that query. So to execute this query, we have to use a statement object. In this, we have a method called execute. So whenever you want to execute a select statement, we use execute query method. But whenever you want to execute like create, insert, update, then we have to use execute method. Okay, so statement dot execute. Here I'm passing SQL variable. And this particular statement will execute against the database and which will create new table, which will create new table. So with this, we have established a connection to the database and we have created a new table called places. So currently this is an empty table. We don't have any data in that. Now, in this particular table, I don't have any data as of now. So we need to read the data from Excel and then insert the same data into the database. So now we already have an Excel file. So we have to just open this Excel file, locations.xls I have. So in the locations.xls file, let me open it. And this particular data, I want to read from the Excel and I don't need to read header part. I just need only data because we already have table contains the header part. So I just want to read this data from Excel. Then I'll insert the same data into the database table. So let's see how we can read the data from Excel. So now we need to work with the Excel here. So we already established a connection. We created a new table. Now we are dealing with the Excel. So we need to get the data from Excel. So to read data from Excel, uh, we have to open the file in the input stream mode. I'll say file input stream, file input stream, FIS equal to new file input stream. Okay, new file input stream. And here we have to specify the location of the file where exactly my file is located so that I can specify here. So dot slash slash representing my current project directory inside this locations.xls is my file. So from this file, I'm getting the data. So import this file input stream from java.io and this will throw some exception, just add this. Okay, now I got the file, uh, I opened the file in the reading mode. Now from this file, we need to extract the workbook. So how to extract it, XSS EF workbook from Apache POI and I create one variable called workbook equal to new EXSSF workbook and inside this, I'll pass this file input stream object. 
so this will get you the workbook from this uh, from this excel and store that into this variable now import this workbook and this will throw some exception add this okay so now from the file i got the workbook so from this workbook let us extract the sheet so workbook dot sheet workbook dot get sheet so this method will return the sheet so we have to specify the name of the sheet so let's cross check the name of the sheet so let me open this excel file so the name of the sheet is locations data so i can just pass this value here locations data so this particular statement will return the sheet object so i can store sheet in a variable now the type of the sheet is xss ef sheet all right so now import this right so with this we have just read the excel file and uh, get the workbook and get the sheet so once you get the sheet so we can easily read the data from the sheet all the rows and columns we can read so before reading the data from the sheet we need to find out how many rows we have in the sheet so to find out the number of rows we can use a sheet object dot we have a method called get last row number so this will return the last row number that means which is exactly equal to number of rows so this will return the number of rows i'll store that in a variable called rows okay i'll store in that variable called rows so once we get the number of rows so how many columns we have in this uh, if you just look at this excel we have uh, i think five columns we have so if i just open this so 1 2 3 4 5 6 columns we have so i'll read each and every cell individually and then i'll insert the same data into the table okay so this i got the last row num that means representing the number of rows now then i am writing one for loop and here uh, i'll repeat i'll take each and every row and then i'll repeat the loop so first i'm starting from row 1 so if i start from 0 we will get header part but in the table we already have column names so we don't need header from excel only i need to get the data so i'll start from 1 and then r less than or equal to rows because we already counted number of rows and then every time i'll increase the row r plus plus now so from this particular sheet i have to get each and every row one after another so use the sheet object dot use one method called get row and here i'll pass the row number r representing the row number so this will get you the row object so we can store that row in one more variable called xss f row and row equal to now import this xss f row now i got the first row so i r equal to 1 so which will get you the first row so from the first row i want to read all the cell data so it is a zero cell first second third fourth fifth If I start from zero, zero, one, two, three, four, five. So totally five cells. Now from this particular row, I want to read all the data. So for example, row dot get the cell, row dot get cell of zero, which will get the first cell from the first row. From this, what kind of data we have in the Excel? We have number type of data. So here I'm using get. numeric cell value so this will return the value from the first cell i'm storing that in a double variable i'll say location id some variable i created so with this we got the first cell value from the first row so from the same row i want to extract rest of the values so from the same row get the cell of 1 and uh, from the second cell all the data is uh, string type of data even postal code is also string type of data so what i can do is you can use instead of get numeric value i say get the string cell value get the string cell value so this will return a string type of data so i say string and this is a street address so this i can say street address so i got the data from the first cell which is location id and data from the second cell which is street address and similarly i'll get the data from the rest of the cell so this is my cell number 2 cell number 3 4 and totally five cells we have i say five 
okay and all our strings so i'm using get string cell value itself and uh, here in this particular row street address we have in the next row uh, next cell is postal code and next cell is city and after that next cell is a state provenance i'm just creating some variables country id you can give any name to this variable just these are the variables so whatever data we are getting from the cells i'm storing them into variables so with this what we have achieved here is i started from the first row and i get the row from that particular row i have read all the data from the cells so as soon as i get this data first row data from all the cells immediately i'll insert this data into the database table and after insertion then we'll go and get the another row from the excel so this loop will repeat multiple times depends upon the number of rows so as soon as we got the data from particular row immediately we have to insert this data into the database table so now i got all the data from the first row from excel so now i'm going to insert these data into the database table now i'll frame the query so how to insert the data into the table so to insert the data into the table we have to use one more command called insert into uh, insert into uh, table name table name is as a places and values and here we have to specify the value 1 comma value 2 comma and so on so this is a syntax which we have to use to insert the data into the tables now i'm going to insert the data into tables through java code itself so as soon as i get the data from excel i'm going to write this data into the database table so we already created the table here now places table in the same places table i'm going to write this data and you have to make sure this columns are exactly matching with this particular data columns okay now let me frame the query so sql variable we already created so i'm just using that variable sql equal to so i will frame the insert query and which is very important how to write the insert query so here i'm writing insert into places this is my table values and normally if i want to pass values directly how we can pass is we can pass like this first one is a location id let us say location id is let us say 101 which is a number we can directly specify it and the street address it is a string so here we have to say in double quotations or single quotations also we can use so we can directly pass the data like this if you have direct data but here data is present inside the variables so now we need to pass these variables inside this insert command so how we can refer these variables inside the insert command how we can pass this data so to do this we have to follow a different type of syntax so what you have to do is so i want to pass location id so what we can do is first say variable name and uh, include that in the double quotation and the prefix and postfix like say plus and plus and before and after i add one plus include that in the double quotations and then include that into single quotation this is the exact syntax which you have to follow. So whenever you want to insert the data, if you want to pass the variables data into the insert command, we have to follow this syntax. So first variable name before and after one plus and include everything in the double quotations and finally include them in the single quotations. This is one variable data comma. Same thing we have to do for second record also second column. So this way. So what I can do is next one is a street address. So replace the street address. So this is the next one. So similarly, we have to add the rest of the columns. We have to use the same syntax. Okay. Now put all the data here. So I should remove this slashes and all. So this is first column and this is a second column data. And this is a third column data. And this is fourth column data. And this is state provenance and finally country ID. Okay, done. So this we have to do that. So after doing this, uh, after doing this, at last one semicolon and then semicolon, end the statement with the semicolon. So this is how we need to pass this data into the insert command. And this command will exit, we have to execute this command. Just now we have written the query and store this entire query into this variable. Now we have to execute this. So to execute this query, what you have to do? 
again we use execute command previously we have done same thing we have to do again so statement uh, statement object dot execute sql statement and this particular command will be executed and insert this row in a table and as soon as we inserted the data in the table to make the data permanent in the table i can execute one more command called commit command so in the database normally uh, insert update delete whenever you execute these statements immediately you have to commit those data or else the data will be temporary so as soon as you said commit the data will become permanent so stmt dot and i can execute one more command called commit okay that's it so two commands i have run one is insertion command then commit command so as soon as we get the data from the excel the first row data i'm inserted the same data into the table and the second round the row value will be incremented by 1 so now row value become 2 and this will get the second row again from the second row which will get all the data from all the cells again it will insert one more insert command similarly this loop will repeat multiple times depends on the number of rows every round of execution it will get the data from the multiple cells multiple rows and cells and every time it will insert the data into the table so once this loop is completed all the data is present inside the database table that's it so after that what you will do is after coming out of this for loop i can close all the steps so i can just close my workbook workbook dot close and after that i'll close file input stream and finally i'll also close database connection so you open the connection here and then once you done all the job then i am closing my connection okay so that's it guys so this is how we need to do that so finally i can also write a simple confirmation message i can simply say done all right so let me repeat once again so first we have established the connection with the database and to execute the statement we create a statement object and this is my first create a statement i have executed which will create a new table in the database and uh, we open the excel in the input stream mode then we have got the sheet and we counted number of rows in a sheet accordingly we repeated number of rows and every row i am getting the data from all the cells the same data i am passing into insert command which will insert the data in the uh, table database table commit the data and this will repeat multiple times for every row and uh, once it is done data will be written in the database table and finally i am closing the workbook file input stream and connection so this is how we need to write the code now let us execute and see so i have already excel file location dot excel as file so from that i am getting the data and if i just look at my database world i don't have i don't have places table here right so which will create a new table let me close everything so i don't have places table our code itself will create a places table and which will insert the data into the table all right so let me close my excel also done so let me execute now so right click run as java application okay so once it is done so let's go and uh, so excel file is already there in our local system okay we don't need to verify anything here now we need to check the data is uh, table is created or not and data is inserted or not from excel so now go to the database and here i am executing a simple select query i say select a star from uh, you can just refresh this world if i just refresh it you can see the places table which is created now select a star from places so when i execute this query from the database itself directly you can get the data from it select a star from uh, we need to first connect to the database guys okay so before that i'll use my uh, i use world database right so world so first we need to refer the database and then execute the query okay so now we can see we got all the data in the table so exactly this data is read from the excel and uh, insert into the table so previously this table was not there so now we created a new table through java code and then we inserted this data into the table okay so this is another uh, important scenario especially in automation so this is how we need to do that so in our previous video we have seen how to read the data from the database table 
and uh, put the data in the Excel sheet. Now in this video, I have shown you how we can read the data from Excel sheet and put the data into the database, vice versa. Okay, so that's all for this video guys. Uh, thanks for watching.